In case y'all didn't know, we got a Korean town in Oakland, California. What's up, travelers? Today we are here on Telegraph, and we're going to explore some hole-in-the-wall Korean food around Oakland. So let's get it. With our first spot throwing you off, a burger joint. Today our first spot is A Plus Burger. It's a Korean burger joint out here in Telegraph of Oakland. And I got the Korean barbecue burger. As you can see, a bun, you got the egg, you got the bulgogi beef right over here, cabbage. Yeah. So I got their signature A Plus Burger. It's a bacon cheeseburger, Jack Daniel bourbon glaze, sesame seed, two fried eggplant. Very saucy, it's gonna be a messy eat. It's a affordable meal too, under $10, right. but after tax, it's gonna cost more than 10. Right. It it's definitely stuffed. worth it though. If you look at the size of it, you get a lot. Cheers, yo. Cheers. And you might think it's weird, but the eggplant actually works really well with this burger too. It's got a nice flavor to it without being like kind of overwhelming, but it's still really good. Like you said, really messy and saucy, but with a good burger, it will be. For mine, you can taste the sweet bulgogi in there. Super good. That warm eggs a lot. It's a big burger. If you try the American yeah. burger, come do a plus or a little Korean yeah. burger, a little mixture a little into your burger. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think I've ever had a Korean burger anywhere else other than A-plus burger. I don't know a place that specialized on Korean burger yeah. other than right here in A-plus burger. Our next destination is just a block away. Alright guys, now we're here at Obi Town, which is not too far from A Plus Burger, just yeah. a block away. We didn't walk, they have their own parking yeah. lot, so what did we get here? So we got the garlic soy fried chicken, Korean style fried chicken, and it has like a soy garlic glaze on it. It's like classic late night food, especially being on Telegraph near UC Berkeley, so you get a lot of students that come here. It also comes with the cabbage salad and pickled daikon. You eat drinking. these with the chicken. Yeah. And for Korean wing, soy garlic is my favorite. There's a lot of variety other than this, but we just chose to get one dish because we got a few other places to go to. The chicken here are big, they're not wings, they're just yeah. big pieces of chicken. Mm -hmm. You definitely taste the salt and garlic mm -hmm. in it. Chicken's crispy. The chicken's juicy. But the batter's not like really heavy. I don't really eat cabbage with um, chicken wings, but I normally eat the Korean wings, the daikon. And I hope that the chicken is boneless too. Mm -hmm. so. Would've got beer, but it's a little early. Our next spot, we had a little difficulty finding a decent parking. All right, guys, so we're here at uh, Chef Yu or Yu Yu Zha Zhang on Telegraph. Here we have the, their specialties, which is the black bean paste noodle and their spicy seafood noodle soup. One thing about this place is that it's almost like a Korean Chinese fusion. Zha Zhang Yen, which is the black bean paste noodles, they serve it to you with sauce on top and then you go in and mix it. The noodles are like nice and chewy. The sauce isn't overpowering. We got like a nice balance of sweet and salty flavor. Salty, savory in a really good way. And the noodles soak up a good amount of sauce. There's still like a nice chewy bite to it too. This is the Zamba noodles, which is the spicy seafood noodle soup. A good amount of seafood, get shrimp, squid, got a nice muscle. That broth is really good. It's got like a nice seafood broth. It's not too spicy. The noodles are still really good in here. Without being like too overwhelming, the flavor is really good too. Solid noodle dishes here at Yu Yu Zhang. And for our final spot of the day, only open in the evening. Let's go. Cheers. We're here at Dan Sung Sung, aka the porno bar. No, it's not what you think. The walls used to be decorated with different types of artwork, things like that, movie posters. Some of it was erotic, like a yeah. big name porno bar. And this place is a late night spot, so it's Definitely. a spot for drink and wings. And you know what we have to get that means drinks and wing and also the corn cheese and also kimchi fried rice was spam. So these three are some of their specialties, some of the things that they're really known for the kimchi fried rice. You already know what's in that. That's kimchi spam, corn, peas. And kimchi and with all of with the fried egg on top. Yeah. With broccoli on it, onions yeah. and all that corn cheese. <laughs> it's very sticky yeah. together. You can stretch it out. Yeah. There was either the soy garlic or the spicy wings. Spicy wings are the most popular. Yeah. And normally drinking people food means it's not that good of a food, but these food are pretty darn good. I've been here a few Time. Not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Got a nice good balance of like yeah. the heat with the sweet. I feel like the spice is more for the flavor. Oh yeah. To like in the chicken. Chicken's still crispy too, like the mm -hmm. wings. Has a light flavor like yeah. the Chinese orange chicken, right? But we'll take a spice in it. Still pretty cheesy. It's hella cheesy. Yeah. And it's still warm. Yeah. After waiting for everything else. So we waited like 10 plus minutes before we were eating it. Hey, this cheese corn is good. A lot of places just um give it like one layer on the hot stone. This one fills it up and 
that thing is cheesy. Last but not least, the kimchi fried rice. I love kimchi fried rice. Honestly, I don't think it's like hella hard to make. Check that out. Even though it's really red, it's not spicy. It has like a little bit of spice in it, but it's more for a kind of flavor. Well, normally when I get kimchi fried rice, it's not spicy. The redness don't be cool. That's really just from the kimchi sauce. Alright guys, that is it for our Korean series Hole in the Wall in Oakland. We got another Hole in the Wall next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Hole in the Wall in Oakland adventure. Until then, travel heads. The Asian is in us. Check it out. We have one of each. One chicken wing, one bite of corn cheese, and one bite of um, kimchi fried rice left. Board being respectful to each other and not eat it. And one chug of beer left too. But he's the only one drinking, so why is he saving it for me? <laughs>